welcome to a new video. This is script over warm gray matte nails. I'm showing everything real quick. Everything will be listed down below. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Click on the bell for notifications. I upload every weekend. And like, share if you want to see more nail art tutorials. I would love to have you around. So I'm showing you that I'm starting off Go With The Flowy by Essie. That will be the base of the polish. I thought the title fit perfectly with the script over warm gray matte nails. Because if you know cursive and you can read it or write in cursive, it's important to try to have your words to flow with your hand and the ink. And so go with the flowy and script, hence script over nails. I thought that was pretty cool of a matchup. Unintentional completely. Sometimes I can it be intentional, sometimes not. And here I'm going over it a second time. I could use a third coat, but two and a half coats for me does it. It's going to be covered up quite a bit, so any flaws will be unnoticed. Don't forget to cap your free edges, very important, when you're done with your color and your top coat. So Matte Pearl Glaze by Revlon, it's, look at that bottle, it's a frosted, beautiful frosted gray with warm notes. And this is how it looks like out of the bottle, completely different than the bottle, but for some reason I was able to match up the color of the, the way the bottle looks onto my nails. Nails might be a little bit darker, so if you had a slightly lighter gray, you could get that color of the bottle with a light gray and that top coat. So I'm going over it a second time. That first nail, that index nail, gave me such a hard time drying, so I went out over it last. And here, that's how it looked like if you top coat it with the gloss, which is oh so pretty, and next to the matte nail. Those are the differences. Beautifully dried. I'm just gonna go over it again for some extra layers of shimmer and flex of those delicate purple warm tones to show through the black script black to black insta dry is the regular fast drying polish not a knit stamping polish i'm waiting for my stamping polishes to come in just i don't i'm out of i'm out of all my black polishes and, and it's stamped okay it's gonna fade out towards the edge you can stop here or you, you can keep going as far as the design goes, you can have it go straight across versus diagonal. There's all sorts of cool ways about doing this. You don't have to go and do completely exactly how I did my nails here. But if you do and you want to tag me on Instagram and show me, I'm at the Bombshell Nails. Go find me and... Here I am scraping again the, the faded out script and it's more somehow I was able to get it a little bit more um, clear than my last two. I really like this, the way the script, I love typography and I love cursive writing, it's so beautiful. So I wanted all my nails covered it, covered in it in the same direction so that it matches. But you can have like the script flowing vertically on one nail and half and half, like just starting the script starts right in the middle of your nail, going to the right or to the left and then have that blank space, you can cover that blank space, tons of ideas. You can have it fade out towards the bottom and on the bottom part have the feathers or 
whatnot. But here I am just, I showed you how the feather is facing opposite directions on my thumb. So it's not, and then part of the feather did not make it to the edge. And somehow I still did not get it to the edge. It staticed on me. So I'm just going to move on from here. It, it's not going to be noticeable. I'm going to have silver over it. So I'm going over the next part. I'm not being too particular about matching the feather exactly on to the next nail. So it's going the opposite direction. So the lining up is going to be a little bit more difficult. And it's not going to be that noticeable anyway. So just going to place it on there. I accidentally left a book on there too. Can't scrape it off so I'm going to clean it off with a brush and acetone. So here I am just finishing off my nails. You can just also leave it here, you can stop, and that looks really beautiful. I like how strong and the, how much the black stains out on top of the, they just, the colors look, work really nice. But I'm gonna go over it again with some silver, regular store polish, right over the top coat, and I'm gonna leave it like that. But here I'm matching up the words with the toothpick, so you can kind of see how I got to line it up exactly. You don't have to line it up exactly. Nobody's going to tell, but I'm all about details sometimes, most times, and that would bug me so much to not have it lined up. So you can kind of line up the stems of the words together. That's very helpful. You can chunk the, you can um, line up the number of the words or the length of the words is helpful too. But if you have glasses or you can't see well, I just recommend you just choosing a line and just plop it on whichever line you want. If you want, I wanted something to stand out in the letters to go with the silver feather with the drop shadow. And that doesn't have to line up, but that's how it looks like on my nail, my thumbnail. And that N-U-N, it's above that S. Let, these are Latin words that I do not know. So there's like that. I know that there's this one beautifully written S, serendipitous or something. And there's like this N-U-N, none. And I'm, I wonder if that means none in English. But that's the sentence I'm looking for. So I stamp that sentence. Any flaws will help me determine that is not the sentence that I am wanting to stamp. So I remove those with a gold piece of tape. And then I stamp. I just choose whichever line that I'm going to stamp, but I chose that one, and that's what it looks like. This is all extra. You don't have to do any of these, but I think it's worth it. It didn't, it didn't take that much longer. I have my toes done, and it looks very beautiful. If you're doing your nails, you might as well do your toes, too. So I'm here showing how to line up the feather. The feather has characteristics. Some of the um, pieces of the feather are longer than the others. Usually the longer ones are curling towards outside or the inside. And so I'm just lining it up by the curls. Are the best way to line it up. This is not necessary to line up either, but as close as possible would be the best like outcome for this nail look. And I'm showing you one time again. I'm trying to conserve polish because I don't know, I could not get the knack of the script, so I ended up using a lot of the polishes. 
of the um, Insta Dry black to black. I tried. I must have tried like five times for a couple of nails. I couldn't. I just would not stamp. But here they are, and this is how I'm burnishing, kind of warming up, rubbing the tops of my nails with my other hand, and it kind of helps stick because it's not going to be protected and I kind of want a distressed silver look on top of it. So, but I still want it to be shiny, not dulled by the matte top coat. This is how it looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking and commenting. I will see you next week. Have a great day. Bye.